Did you know Elsa from Frozen was initially supposed to be evil? Admiral Westergaard! Oh, of course. Well, why didn't Admiral Westergaard come himself, since he loves her so? He... he... He is busy raising an army? Or what about this song, Days in the Sun, from the live-action Beauty and the Beast? It starts with Beast's mother singing to him as a young boy lying in bed, and then continues with the other objects in the castle singing about reminiscing about their days in the sun. Then went on to Belle singing about wanting to leave the castle, but she knows Beast needs her. Beast also sings about his mother being ill and leaving him. The original movie in 1991 also had a song kind of similar called Human Again, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Not until my own life is done could I ever leave you. A lot of Disney movies were initially going in a complete different direction until things were reworked and rewritten. Some movies had scenes in them that would have added to the story or made the movie a little bit sadder or even happier. But these scenes were left on the chopping room floor, but I have 12 of those deleted Disney scenes coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Azalea Hart. Question of the day. Was there a deleted Disney movie scene that you heard of that you wish would have made the movie? Comment down below and let me know what it is. While you're here and make sure you check out some more Disney videos and feel free to follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe. Let's get into the list. In Zootopia, we know that Nick Wilde is a charming small-time con artist Red Fox with a big mouth and a whole lot of opinions. His life's motto is never let him see that they get to you. I agree, Nick. He was raised by his mother, Mrs. Wiles, and as a child, he had a dream to join the local Boy Scouts because he had always wanted to feel accepted. His mom did everything she could to scrape enough money together to get her son a brand new uniform so he could join the division. Finally, it was time for Nick's initiation into the group and he was so excited. He had no idea that he was in fact walking into a trap. The initiation turned out to be a really cruel prank where he was beaten and muzzled by the other scouts for being a fox because foxes were considered to be the most vile and untrustworthy species of mammals in Zootopia. When he escaped from his tormentors, he ran outside and ripped off his muzzle and he began to cry, which led to him developing a fear of muzzles and bigoted mammals. Growing older, he went through a lot of mistreatment because of being a fox and he figured if the world sees foxes as nothing more than sly, vile, and untrustworthy scoundrels, then he'll accept it, embrace it, and be just that. So you're wondering where the deleted scene is, right? Because you've seen all of that in the movie. Well, there was a scene where Nick Wilde is fitted in a shock collar that punishes him for getting angry or excited. This resulted in him falling into a deep depression, but this was cut from the film because, I mean, how much heavier can we make a family movie? The brutal beating as a child part was more than enough for me. There was a different ending to Lilo and Stitch than the one that we know about where Stitch is entrusted to the care of Lilo and Nanny after the Grand Councilwoman realizes that Stitch is capable of being civil and empathetic and won't wreak havoc on Earth. The original ending shows Stitch and company hijacking a plane and flying it through a crowded metropolitan Honolulu. At one point, they even have to swerve to avoid hitting a skyscraper. And if you remember, Lilo and Stitch was in production in 2001. So of course, after 9-11, the scene had to be removed. In an earlier version of Beauty and the Beast, there was going to be a song called Human Again. This is what I talked about in the intro. We know that the castle's maids, butlers, and other employees came under the spell when the witch cursed the entire castle because of the prince's selfish behavior. And we also know that the curse is broken by the end of the movie and that they do become human again. But this song was all a dream. This song, Human Again, focused on all of the servants dreaming about being human again. The song was added to the special edition of the movie though in 2002, but this scene was ultimately cut from the 1990 one movie release. Disney released a statement saying, the song posed story problems, which is difficult to solve in a timely manner. Because it was originally conceived as an 11 minute musical number, Disney had no other choice but to ultimately replace the song with a shorter and more direct something there. They added in that the structure of the song was also a problem at the time because it indicated the passage of time, months of time and showing leaves falling, which presented a few issues for production because what would the other characters be doing during these months? Is Maurice wandering around the woods all this time? I'm lost is Gaston just sitting in the tavern drinking beer after beer so they just cut it Woody in Toy Story was actually supposed to be get this 
evil, verbally abusive, and just really mean. He even threw Buzz out of the window. Another version shows Woody actually shooting the other toys so that Andy wouldn't take Buzz to Pizza Planet. All the toys ended up ganging up on Woody to throw him off the bed, and then Slinky suggested that they actually throw him out the window the way he did to Buzz. At this point, Toy Story was just in production, and the writers had to show a storyboard reel to a group of Disney executives to show them what the movie would be like. The idea was a hero versus a villain where Buzz would be the hero that the audience would identify and relate to, and Woody would be the villain, who was also supposed to be a ventriloquist dummy, but they scrapped that idea at the time because they thought that it would give children nightmares and thought that the evil persona would be a little bit too obvious. But we do see ventriloquist dummies later in the Toy Story franchise. Disney's excess did not like this version at all, and they shut down production but gave them a week to fix it. So they went back to the drawing board and rewrote Woody as the charming, kind, compassionate, everyone's best friend protagonist that we know and love. Finding Dory ends with her saving all of her fish friends from their depressing existence in tanks rather than the ocean where they belong. The team behind the movie watched a documentary about life in marine research stations and knew that this is what the ending should be, opposed to what they initially had, which was Dory alone returning to her parents and the ocean. So they let everybody free. There's a scene that was cut from Frozen that they called the dressing room scene, where Anna bursts into Elsa's room to look for something to wear for Elsa's coronation. It shows the relationship that sisters have that so many audience members could relate to. It's just simple and cute and really shows their relationship, laughing and joking around, but the scene was cut. The director said that they didn't want to cut it because they wanted to show the girls interacting the way that siblings do. But because they were divided, they decided to keep them divided. Divided. This is what Chris Buck had to say about finding Anna's personality. What I love about it too is it really was the beginning of finding Anna's personality yeah. though. Really yeah. that quirky, quirky, fun, goofy personality that yeah. she's got. Oh, right. Sorry. Please don't make a mess. <gasps> Ooh. How about this? <laughs> mm -mm, you are not wearing that to my coronation. There was a scene in Frozen 2 where Elsa was dreaming that was also deleted. It started with her in bed with Anna. Suddenly, Anna started feeling cold and she sneezed and woke up. Anna was pulled into Elsa's dream outside of her head as she envisioned playing in the snow and running through a beautiful forest. But then, chaos starts. Elsa uses her powers to send a blast and Anna quickly ducks out of the way. All of this while Elsa was asleep, mind you. In this deleted scene from The Little Mermaid, we see an alternate ending where Ursula, rather than being a huge, giant version of herself, She's just normal human size, and there's a battle between her and Ariel with King Triton's trident. Towards the end, we see where King Triton is going to finally turn Ariel into a human, to be with Prince Eric, but there's a different dialogue than in the movie where King Triton acknowledges this. That human saved my life. The Seven Dwarves really need more songs and less deleted content. This scene coming up is of course from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs with the cutest song called Music in Your Soup where they're eating their dinner, which is, well, soup. And it's clearly so delicious that all they can do is sing and slurp and drive Snow White nuts with all that slurping. So she decides to show them how to eat with a spoon. It really is a really cute scene. With a spoon, with a bowl, with the music in your soul. You can cheer things up with the zup, zup, zup of the music in your soup. In The Lion King, there was a song entitled The Madness of King Scar. It was deleted, of course. It's about Scar attempting to convince Nala to mate with him. <coughs> I'm sorry. What? He tried to steal his nephew's girl? I mean, the man killed his own brother and tried to kill his nephew, so this isn't exactly beneath him. Anyway, Nala turned him down and she was banished to the Pride Lands, but damn, how creepy of a song. The Broadway musical, though, still uses this song. Definitely not a good fit for the movie. Be Prepared was more than enough for me, personally. I deserve a companion, a mate who will start. My cylinders firing with fervor. And you, my sweet thing, fit the part. Excuse me. Did you know that Aladdin was going to be one of those rare, rare Disney movies where the main character actually has a mom? In the early version of Aladdin, he wasn't an orphan. He had a mother, a loving mother at that, and he was scheming on the streets of Agrabah to take care of her. There was a song that was deleted called Proud of Your Boy, about Aladdin wanting to make his mother proud, rather than always disappointing her. The creative team behind the movie loved the emotional song, but it had to 
to be cut in order to move the plot along. And lastly, in the animated version of Mulan, we already know that villain Shen Yu is merciless and leads his Han army to do some terrible things. We see the aftermath of what his army did to a particular village, burning it all down to the ground after they attacked it. But there was a deleted scene that would have followed that where Shen Yu kills one of his own men for showing mercy to a villager. Man, how heartless can you be? Who hurt you, Shen Yu? All right, guys, that's it for this video on 12 deleted Disney scenes. Which one did you like the most and which would have remained in the movie? Comment down below and let me know. Be sure to check out some more Disney videos while you're here and follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe and I'll see you next time.